In this five minute design challenge, what we're going to do is create a small vase that you can put a flower in or a small plant. It will also be able to hang. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by going to a top down perspective. We're going to begin by creating a circle. So we're going to hit C. We're going to start on this plane and we're going to create a circle of 50 millimeters. We're going to finish the sketch. We're now going to use a new tool called the offset plane. Let me show you how this tool works and what it does. We're going to come up to this construct tab. We're going to select offset plane. I'm going to click on this circle here and what that will do. This is going to allow me to create a new plane above or below the previous sketch. And here's why this is important. First, we're going to make this approximately 50 millimeters in the air and I'm going to hit enter. So if you now look, from the isometric view, you can see I've got this plane here above this circle. I'm going to use this to create another sketch. So I'm going to make a circle on this new plane. This sketch will be 80 millimeters. Finish the sketch. We're going to repeat that process now of making another offset plane by going up to construct. Hit offset plane. We're going to select the newest ring that we created, the one that was on top. And we're going to raise this one another 50 millimeters. And so this is how it looks. I've got one, two, and now I'm going to have my third sketch there. So let's go ahead, add that third sketch. It's going to be another circle. It's going to be 65 millimeters. Finish the sketch. And so here's what I have. I have three circles. One on the original plane, a second plane, mid plane. Here's why you want to do offset planes. So you can do more creative things or take things into better spaces. So we're going to go up to create and use a new tool. This is called the loft tool. The loft tool will automatically merge all three of these items together to create a nice simple shape. Here's what I mean. I'm going to click the first circle, the second circle, then the third circle. Then I'm going to hit OK. And there's my shape. Since this is a vase, I'm going to hollow it out. I'm going to go up to modify. I'm going to go to shell. I'm going to shell out starting with the top. So I'm going to click once on the top. This is going to have a 3.5 millimeter thickness all the way around. So it's nice and strong to be held. Hit enter. And so now I've got this vase, but we're not done. We're going to go to the front view and we're going to add a hole that goes through both sides so we can hang it. The way we do this is on the front view. I'm going to simply click the L and then I'm going to select the plane right here. Once I do that, I'm going to make a little line from the very top. It's going to go down 10 millimeters. Hit enter. Then I'm going to make a circle right where I left off. So it's going to be at this point. Make this circle eight millimeters, hit enter, finish the sketch. And so if I go to the isometric view again, you'll see I've got this circle here it's floating in space. Let's go ahead and extrude that. But when we extrude it, we're going to use a different command with this extrude. On the right side, we're going to use something called symmetric. That means it will go both sides. I'm going to extrude this circle all the way through both sides at the same time like that and click OK. And now I have a very simple planter that I can hang. You can go ahead and save this. I'm going to save this as my simple vase and you can go ahead then and export it for 3D printing.